Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing this tutorial. This is Aqua Aqua Aqua. A few nights ago on Snapchat, I went through all of my favorite makeup artists to follow, and one of them is Ten Chains on Instagram. Anyway, she's one of my favorite makeup artists to follow. She always does really cool, vibrant, intense looks. So she inspired this look today, which is this picture right here. She does a lot of looks with this color, actually. This was the other look that I was thinking about doing, which I put it on Twitter and everybody was like, dude, that was Desi's no mirror makeup challenge when we did that video together. Remember when I pressured her to use the aqua eyeshadow and she didn't want to do it, but she did it. I really love the aqua color. It sings to me, it speaks to me. The one I'm wearing today is from ColourPop. It's one of their new shadows. So yeah, this is the look I'm gonna be doing for you guys today. I'm also gonna be using all the products from this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of my Benefit Air Patrol Primer to start. This is mainly gonna be for like the upper crease area because I am gonna use some of the MAC uh, Prep and Prime on my lid. I'm gonna add a little bit of the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base to the lid because I'm using a ColourPop shadow and this primer works best on ColourPop shadows in my opinion. All right, so now I'm actually gonna start with a pop of Aqua and I'm gonna be using a ColourPop shadow. This is the shade Belladonna Lily, very bright, very pigmented, really cool aqua color, very fun for spring. And I'm gonna apply it using the uh, MAC 239 brush, the nice like uh, packing brush, so you can heavily pack on pigments and shadows and stuff onto the lid. So I'm just gonna pack it, starting in the front and then just kind of pulling it towards the outer corner of the eye. So now I'm gonna start adding a little bit of the transition color. We got some nice soft, warm tones going on over here. So I'm going to use a Suva, Suva Beauty eyeshadow. This one right here. It's a very soft, like, melony color. It's called Guava. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Guava to the crease area using a Zoeva 227 brush. One of my favorite blending and transition brushes. Don't be afraid to get it on the aqua. All right, next we're gonna do this little sharp wingy wingy thing, the wingy thingy. I'm gonna use a really nice medium brownish warm, really warm shadow. This is Brown Script from MAC, which I haven't used in such a long time, but it's a really nice color. So I'm gonna be using that in a Zoeva 238 brush, and I'm gonna be drawing like a faux, like a wing. It's gonna be like a pointed shadow. And then you can kind of start shading it on top of the ColourPop shadow. That's the reason why I did the ColourPop shadow first. If you try and put ColourPop shadows on top of other ones, sometimes it like can turn out kind of funny just because of the formula of it. So that's why I put it on first, that way I can just layer other colors on top of it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the brown script with this brush. And then using a Smith 247, I'm gonna add some of the brown script into the crease a little bit more, just so it's not quite as like, you know, harsh. Then to make sure we get a nice even color distribution, I'm gonna blend out the crease using this Lab Square Just Blending In brush, just to buff all the colors together. All right, now I'm gonna build up on this that we have over here, and I'm gonna be using Fudge Eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a really nice, very rich, rich warm brown that I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna be building up the color a little bit on the lash line and then pulling it out. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of black eyeshadow on top of that. I'm gonna switch over to a 212 Smith brush. This one's a little bit flatter and skinnier. Just adding a little more brown script and buffing it into the aqua shade. Just kind of layer it on. All right, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of black eyeliner to the lash line. I'm not doing a full wing, just black eyeliner. And this is the, the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So, I meant to do this before I put on eyeliner, but it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So I'm gonna add some of the inner corner aqua while we're doing this dance, if you will. Where'd my brush go? Did you check your butt? Did you check your butt? 
All right, so we're just gonna pack this on onto the inner corner and lower lashy. I'm actually gonna switch over to this brush. This is a Zoeva 230 pencil brush. And then what I do just to brighten up the inner corner, I did it on this side, just a little bit more, add a little bit of shimmer to the eyes. I layered on some of the ice blue color. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just an icy blue. It adds a nice sheen to the aqua that we already have. Cause the ColourPop one is matte. So, you know, you know, there we go. Mm -hmm. I'll put on just a spot of liner back on the inner corner in case I covered it up, which I don't really think I did, but just in case. All right, so now I'm gonna put on mascara. I'm going with the uh, Marc Jacobs one. It's been my jam lately, Velvet Noir. Okay, so now for lashes. I did use different lashes today. I did it. Finally, I know. These are the Ardell lashes number 113. Some other favorites that I have. And what I like about these, I don't have to worry about trimming them, which is nice. This side went on well. This side kind of played me a little bit. I had to redo this eyelash like on the low real quick. It was pointing like down. And I didn't even realize it until I saw the other side. So I ripped it off, reapplied it because I just didn't have the time to have a wonky eyelash today. Didn't have the time. Now let's move on to the rest of the face, shall we? So I already had under eye concealer on, the IT Cosmetics one. If you're gonna put concealer on the inner corners of your eyes, like in that area, you're gonna wanna put concealer on first. Anyway, so now I'm gonna do foundation and today I'm gonna try out, well, I've already worn this a few times. I know I like it. This is um the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me foundation, shade number 220, which I think will be a good shade for me today. All right, so I have my beauty blender, a little bit of my foundation, my foundation. Rules the nation. I don't know. I really like this foundation. I'm not sure why I stopped using it. I'm really enjoying it right now. Do a little highlighting. Sharpen that. Then I'm setting the under eyes using the um, RCMA No Color Powder. I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk little highlighter stick. This is um, Sparkling Sands. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight using the Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette. And this is the uh, Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Great for an everyday highlight. And just sprinkle. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of translucent powder. This is the uh, Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. Let me just set my face. Just a light dusting. Now I'm gonna contour a little bit, and this is the uh, Makeup Geek Contour Powder, the color Half Hearted. This is a warm medium, and I'm using a Marc Jacobs, this is the blush brush. Sharp. Angles. Whoa, this looks very strong. I did a little too strong. Chris Brown. Chris Brown, Jacobs. Is this too warm to do on my nose? Bring it out of my nose as well. Now for blush, I'm gonna use this one from Elizabeth Mott. This is called Show Me Your Cheeks, and the color is peach pink. This is a nice, smooth, creamy formula, so I'm just gonna add this to my or apples of my cheeks using an IB105 tapered blush brush from Crown. Now it's time to twerk out this lower lash line. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna start with black. I'm gonna all the way across. All right, so now I'm gonna add some aqua to the waterline and I'm using one of the new Makeup Forever pencils. This is the Aqua XL Eye Pencil. The shade is M26. Now I'm gonna add my mascara to my lower lashes. Too Faced Better Than Sex, waterproof of course. 
All right, so now for lips, I'm gonna do two different options for you guys. So the first one is the Tarte Lip Surgeons Lip Cream in the color Wonder. This is an ultra moisturizing full coverage lip cream. It's actually very full coverage. It's a lot more full coverage than I was expecting. Most of the time, chubby lip pencils are like sheer. This one has a nice full coverage, which I can appreciate. So here is option numero uno. So I'm also gonna show you a nude option using the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. Peach Stock Lipstick from MAC. And then the Please Me, this is just so much MAC lip product. Please Me Lip Gloss. You know what, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of the uh, fudge to my lower lash line just to diffuse the black cat eye a little bit. Woo! All right, so that wraps up the makeup tutorial, and I did want to show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got in my glam bag from this month. So the first item is the Nth Degree Smoothing Moroccan Argan Oil and Keratin Hair Serum. This will help your cuticles and smooth split ends, which I have many split ends. Just a little oil on the tips. Smooth them in the ends of your hair. I mean, the ends of my hair goes all the way up here because I have so much broken hair right now, you know? I need to put oil all over my whole head is what I really need to do right now. All right, so the next item I got is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. This is a gel to oil overnight repair treatment, which is good. I always sleep with oil in my hair all the time. And the last one I got is the Tula Exfoliating Treatment Mask. This one. And this is a mask that will help to brighten, hydrate, and even your skin tone. All right, so that wraps up this makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.